Ever wondered why your ears pop on airplanes? Let's break it down in plain English, because trust me, it's not just your ears being dramatic. Inside your head, there's a little tunnel called the Eustachian tube, connecting your middle ear to the back of your throat. On the ground, air pressure inside and outside your ear is pretty much the same, so everything feels normal. But as the plane climbs, the air outside gets thinner, meaning lower pressure. Now, the pressure inside your ear is higher than outside, so your eardrum bulges out and you feel that annoying blocked sensation. Here's where your eustachian tube steps in. It opens up, letting air escape, and equalizes the pressure. That's the pop. During landing, the opposite happens, the outside pressure goes up and you need to let air back in. Why doesn't the airplane just keep the same pressure as on the ground? That would make the plane way too heavy and expensive to fly. So, airlines keep what's called cabin altitude. The air inside feels like you're 6,000 to 8,000 feet up, not 35,000. It's comfy enough to breathe, but still lower than at sea level. So yeah, your ears still get a workout. If you want to fight the pop, here's what helps. Swallow or yawn to open those tubes. Try the Valsalva maneuver. Pinch your nose, close your mouth, and gently blow. Or the Toynbee maneuver. Pinch your nose, sip some water, and swallow. Special earplugs can slow down pressure changes. And whatever you do, try to stay awake during takeoff and landing so you can keep adjusting. Trust me, your ears will thank you. Next time you fly, you'll know exactly what's going on inside your head.